All right, YouTube, I'm painting my bow tie on my steering wheel. And I have soaking in some hot water the uh, well known Plasta Dip. This one is just regular black. But I have it soaking in hot water because it makes it less eggshell. Uh, makes it more uh, consistent, like a flat black with no texture. See, like this metal bracket has it's got texture in it. I don't want any texture in the bow tie. The bow tie already has like that uh, washboard stuff in it, but we're gonna make it flat as possible. I'm gonna have some alcohol here. I'm gonna spray on the bow tie. Here is the plan. As you can see, I got the steering wheel all taped up here. Um, I'm going to spray this with alcohol, make sure it's really dry, and then I'm going to put another layer of blue tape over, and then I'm going to push this down, and then I have this uh, X Acto knife that I'm going to shove, you can kind of see that gap right there. I'm gonna put the blade in that gap and trace that out and then pull the gold piece off uh, where the tape will be over. And then um, I'm gonna take my finger or maybe even the back side of that blade and fold the blue tape down inside uh, as best I can. And then once I think all the silver is taped up, I have this uh, blanket that I kind of have rigged up here. This is going to tape against the window. This is just an old blanket that I had in the house that we cut up for another project. Um, and I cut a hole in it. And I'm gonna tape that like that. Tape that up really good. And so now I'm more covered so uh, from overspray and then I'm just gonna do probably four or five layers real quick just one layer wait a minute another layer but wait a minute another layer just keep going until I think it looks nice and then you spray it one more time and then you peel off the edging you got to peel off the edging when it's still wet otherwise when you go to peel it up it'll peel up the plastic dip with it so you don't want to spray it on too thick because you don't want to bridge the gap between the gold bow tie and this uh, chrome piece. If you bridge that gap, it's just going to peel off all in one big piece. So um, we're going to give it a try here. Okay, so I'm all taped up. I covered up the edges as best I can. This one, this one here is a little bit wonky, but I think it's pushed down far enough. I think it'll be okay. Uh, but I'm all covered up here at the blanket. I got the windows down. I got the air on to help push some of this crap out. And uh, we're just going to do a little painting next. So that's two coats so far. And you just let it dry just so it gets a little tacky. And you just keep going. So that's number two. I can still see gold coming through. But you just keep going and it'll it'll come out really well. All those little spots will come out really good. It'll all be covered up. You see how it's more glossy? That's because I have the cans hot. When it's cold, if you want it to look more textured, uh, if you want that real aggressive texture look like a bed liner, then you make the paint colder. Put it in the fridge for a little while. Here is four coats. Coming out better and better every time I put a coat on so that's four so you look at this uh, shininess as soon as that shininess kind of goes away to like an eggshell then that's when you go ahead and put another coat on and so we'll try it again here in just uh, probably another 10 seconds and I'll hit another coat okay it's all done six coats and then uh, the seventh one real quick to just get it wet to peel the 
tape off, that way you don't get any rough edges. This plastic dip stuff is kind of cool, but it's weird. If you let it dry, if you let it dry and you peel it off, uh, it peels the plastic dip with it because the plastic dip obviously is meant to be removed. Um, so you gotta get it wet and then peel it off. Uh, but it came out really good. Um, I mean, there is a there is a little imperfection like right there, but that was in the bow tie itself. Uh, and I know I scratched it right there. I scratched it um, the day I bought the truck, actually. It was wrapped in plastic and I was unwrapping it and uh, accidentally just touched it with my stupid razor blade. Uh, but other than that, it looks good.